Well, folks, Demi Lovato has been nuts for a while now, but she has also skewed over into fully evil, and she did so this week. So Demi Lovato, who has alternatively been a she and then a they them, and now she's back to being a she because she said it was exhausting to be a they them. Yeah, Demi, try being us trying to follow, you know, your insane permutations of pronouns. Well, she is now in order to shore up her left-wing credibility, which apparently she needs to do like every five minutes. So she released an entire album about, you know, sex being transgressive, which has been absolutely shocking and transgressive since 1980 when Madonna made her debut. Um, Well, now she has a surprise new single. It is titled Swine, and it was made specifically to promote abortion. You got to promote abortion. She said, I created Swine to amplify the voices of those who advocate for choice and bodily autonomy. So uh, here is some of the music video for Swine by Demi Lovato. Yeah, this is it's and, and of course she's she's standing on a um on like being she's gonna be burned at the stake. She's so, so basically she's saying she's she's swine just to get this argument straight. She's swine unless you allow her to be absolutely promiscuous and kill the baby that is produced. Right? So so what makes her human is actually the thing that makes her most animal. Okay, just take just to actually understand the perverse logic here. The perverse logic is that being human is not about elevating yourself and taking into yourself the level of divine holiness that morality represents, including, you know, guarding the human baby inside you. That's not holy. That makes you an animal. What makes you truly a human being is to act like a pig, which is to say to run around in filth and garbage and then to externalize all of the consequences by killing the resulting product. If you couldn't actually hear the lyrics there, because it's very difficult because she's just screaming them into camera. It is, God forbid I want to suck whatever the F I want to. God forbid I want to F whoever the F I want. And if he comes, I guess I got to be a mother. F what I think. I don't know a thing. The government knows my body. It's okay. It's better this way. I'm only a carbon copy. Even if I'm dying, they'll still try to stop me, which again, a lie. Okay, every single pro-life law on the books in the United States has an exception for the life of the mother. Every single one, every one. And then she says, do we even hear ourselves? My life, my voice, my rights, my choice. Well, I mean, it's mine or I'm just swine. My blood, my loins, my lungs, my noise. It's mine or I'm just swine. Again, the, the idea is that what makes her human is acting like an animal. And what makes you and what makes you an animal is acting like a person with moral responsibility. It takes a special kind of company to want to partner with this show. Yeah, because obviously we say a lot of controversial things on this show. There are a lot of companies that are very afraid of that. The ESG, DEI companies, they're very afraid of that sort of stuff. Well, one of the companies that is happy and proud to partner with us is Pure Talk, which is one of the reasons why we are proud to partner with them. It's not just because they're like-minded politically, but it's also because they are a great company. We made them the official wireless partner of The Daily Wire because their coverage is premium. Pure Talk is the most dependable 5G network in the United States. I use it myself. They say they share a tower network with one of the big guys. Mix and match your plans to fit every person in your family. Choose from talk, text, and 5G data for just 20 bucks a month, all the way up to unlimited data with mobile hotspot for 55 bucks a month. Remember, you vote with how you spend your cash. So stop supporting the woke wireless companies that actually dislike you very strongly and switch on over to Pure Talk today. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Save an additional 50% off your very first month. That is puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Pure Talk is wireless for Americans by Americans. Go check them out right now. I use them for all of my own business phone calls. You should do the same. puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Let's talk about a simple fact of the matter. You need life insurance. We all need life insurance. You're a person with dependents. That means that God forbid something were to happen to you. You need to make sure that your family still has the means to carry on. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from top companies and find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just 25 bucks per month for a million dollars in coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid those unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius licensed agents, they work for you, not the insurance companies, which means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can actually trust their guidance, which is exactly what you're looking for. Again, the responsible thing to do is to get life insurance. Policy Genius helps you do it. There are no added fees. Your personal information remains private. Your loved ones deserve that financial safety net, and you deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Head on over to policygenius.com Shapiro or click the link in the description. 
Get your free life insurance quotes. See how much you could save today. Again, that's policygenius.com slash Shapiro. I have lots of life insurance. My business partners have life insurance. You should have life insurance as well. If you have any dependents at all, you need the life insurance and you need the best life insurance. Policy Genius can make it happen for you at the best possible price. Policygenius.com slash Shapiro. The, the complete inversion here, the complete paganistic inversion is insane. And it is representative of a shift in the secular morality that has taken over the country. In the 1990s, at least the left had the temerity to say safe, legal, and rare. That abortion, what they would say was tragic. It was, it was a problem. We had to minimize it as much as possible. But there were certain circumstances in which you wouldn't want somebody to have to have a baby. Right? That was the argument of the left in the 90s. Now it is. The thing that makes me most human, the thing that makes me most authentic, is having sex with as many people as humanly possible, producing a child, and then killing it. That's what human sacrifice is what makes you the most human. That's the thing that makes you the most human. And to deny you that makes you into an animal. It makes you swine. And, uh, and then she continues, picture your faith, imagine your God, and even your holy Bible is suddenly banned. Do you understand? I mean, so I, I do understand that considering that we are now in the greatest of all months, Pride Month, in, in which basically religion is banned from the public square and we're all forced to honor and bow to the great pride progress flag in substitution for the American flag. So yes, picture your, I mean, if Demi Lovato and her ilk had their way, religious Americans would literally be forced to perform same-sex marriages in churches and would be forced to bake cakes for transgender identity parties. So yes, I yes, actually. Picture your faith. Imagine your God and even your holy Bible is suddenly banned. Do you understand? Now, doesn't that sound entitled? It's your book, but it's my survival. It's, it's your survival? Unless you, unless you kill a baby growing inside you, it's, it's your survival. Uh, it seems to me that actually the survival of humanity relies on you not killing the baby inside of you. This notion that, that birth is some sort of weird thing that happens to ladies is so, it's so disconnected from reality. It's disconnected from nature. It's disconnected from everything. It's the idea that the true you is this disembodied spirit that has nothing to do with the body that you inhabit, and you have no responsibility or morality in the real world. It's an amazing thing. It's, it's, it's your book, but it's my survival. Um, people don't want you to not kill the baby because of the book. They don't want to kill a baby because killing babies is bad. Now, I would make the case that the book makes a pretty good argument for that. Because again, attaching morality to holiness is a great way of enshrining that morality beyond question. But it turns out that the arguments on the pro-life side of the aisle are typically not with reference to the book of Psalms. It's typically just, that's a baby, don't kill it. We got to grow them, we got to raise them, we got to feed and bathe them. And if you won't, they'll call you a witch to burn at the stake in Salem. Thought by now they changed, but we're still waiting, she says. Um, so... I, I, you got to love the juxtaposition. We got to grow and we got to raise and we got to feed and bathe them. If you won't, they'll call you a witch to burn at the stake. I love that. So your false dichotomy is that you have to raise all these kids and you have to burn them or we will kill you. Okay, so just to point out, one, you're, you're sort of speculating the possibility of a punishment. The other, you're killing the child. Like you, I'll give you the countervailing point of view, like just the contrapositive of what you're arguing here. What you are arguing is basically you should be allowed to kill a kid because you don't want to grow them, raise them, or feed and bathe them, which makes you a bad person. I'm sorry, it makes you a terrible, terrible human because you're not doing this in the name of your own health. You're not doing this in the name of your life is at risk. You're doing this because you want to F who you want to F. So, I mean, points to Demi Lovato for just saying the quiet part out loud here. Undercompensated, too domesticated, the F. Underestimated, overregulated, the F. First of all, the only regulations that Demi Lovato has ever been against are ones that actually preserve human life. Under-celebrated, hate-dominated, the F, we're infuriated, got us activated, get up, ever-dedicated, newly motivated, and if you're awake, I'm so glad you made it. So, um, again, it, it, it is, the, the gaslighting and inversion here is truly insane. She says, quote, I want this sound, song to empower not only the birthing people of this country. She's beyond parody. She really is. The birthing people, you mean women. You mean women? Because nothing empowers women like calling them birthing people. Amazing. But everyone who stands up for equality to embrace their agency and fight for a world where every person's right to make decisions about their own body is honored, unless you don't want to get a vaccine, in which case we are going to throw you out of your job. Just, uh, what, what, a, what a disgusting human being Demi Lovato has become. I mean, honestly, I used to feel bad for Demi Lovato because Demi Lovato is clearly a deeply troubled human being. There's, she did a reality show where she talks to feminist ghosts who have been abused by men or something. So clearly as a person with serious tr problems, but when you start actually promulgating evil, and it is, it is promulgating evil to suggest that the height of human authenticity and achievement is killing the baby inside you and screwing whoever you want. That is a terrible moral message. It is the opposite of morality. 
man, it, again, at least at least they're saying the quiet part out loud now. It was never about safe, legal, and rare. It was always about shout your abortion because what makes you truly authentically human is acting as animalistically as humanly possible without any consequence. All righty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be joined by Ian Rowe, senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, to talk about the destruction of American education. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click the link in the description and join us.